What's up guys? Iceman here. So first off, I'd like to thank Nicholas Caputo. He sent Little Ice Boy a 25 shekel donation as of yesterday. I was damn pleased to receive that. Check this out. Hell yeah. Uh, he had a little note. Nick C here. First time I've ever donated. Not because your content is great, but because you are fucking great. Have an awesome day, man, and have a drink for me. Read Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, bro? I don't know who that is. Do you guys know who Marcus Aurelius is? A-U-R-E-L-I-U-S? I don't know who that is, dog. But hell, I guess I'll check it out. Now, I don't know if this Nicholas... Is he following me on my other channel? Do you follow me there, bro? But hell yeah, $25. Uh, thank you, sir. May your finances be blessed. May the Creator bless you and keep you. And may you have many wives. Hell yeah. Um... Okay, I'll get a nice, thick, juicy beer. I'll suck that shit down tomorrow. You guys might think this is fucked up, but it's kind of embarrassing, maybe. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, my woman and I have been watching Twilight series, all right? It's just cheesy as fuck, isn't it? Like, it's kind of nostalgic now. I never even watched all the films, but we're just watching Twilight and shit. Like, basically, we always watch the same movies. We watch Lord of the Rings. We watch the whole trilogy, and we didn't watch it, like, in a year now. We watched the first one a couple months ago, but I was like, eh, I don't know. I don't really feel like one of the second one, the third one. We always got to watch the extended editions as long as it's told. So I've been putting it off. My woman kind of wants to watch them more than I do right now, but we're going to watch them soon. But we watched the Pirates of the Caribbean videos, and, uh... That's pretty much it, man. Just those two. So I've been like wanting to branch out a little bit and watch some weird ass, just nostalgic shit that's not too serious. Or that takes itself serious, but is just kind of cheesy and dumb. Like the Twilight videos, right? But I know they're mostly for chicks, but I don't know. I just, I kind of wanted to watch them, man. <clears throat> but I, uh, I had some beer with that. Some IPA. So it was good, good as a toad. Uh, yeah, so Nicholas, I'll probably buy me some of that shit. Hell yeah. My first tip of uh, toe juice in the morning. But what I wanted to show you guys in this video is a lightning sorceress. Now, this is the same Vamin that I used in my Sweet Phil Magic Find video. I used this character for probably like 60%, 70% of that video. Uh, which in total was four hours of magic fine. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> that video, uh, I just posted a couple days ago. It's great. Yeah, check out Sweet Phil as well, of course. All right, uh, he's linked in that video as well. So, hey, yeah, yeah. Uh, this character is something I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to make. But the thing is, I want to make it. Because the problem is, requires infinity. <clears throat> this is PTR, so the stuff is weighed in made in uh, really strange items. All right. Because for whatever reason, I didn't really think that we were going to need uh, ethereal elite pulls to make our runewords into test endgame content. They thought we were just going to need normal mode base items. But okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. We got ourselves an Andariel's Visage with a charm rune in it. Gear isn't all that impressive, right? But I mean, it's the stuff I use for MF. Now, of course, you might want to switch this out with Hodo. Let's see what the breakpoints are. Oh, shit, that's not good. That's not, that ain't right. Oh, here we go. Ice Boy got you covered. Hell yeah. Look at that shit. What part of my boy's in the energy now? Okay, 105. Now, that's acceptable, all right? You want to basically be there better. Uh, check out the breakpoints. I mean, being at like 110, for example, isn't going to do shit for you. Uh, lightning frames are on 117 and, and chain lightning. However, I don't believe that applies to Nova. We'll test that out in a minute here. 
but yeah, I mean, the stats aren't that great. You know, the res isn't that great. But basically, let's take a look-see here. Using Aki with an S, because I was use, I was just MFing. I wouldn't put S and shit in it if uh, this were, like, my main character. And there's probably a better uh, setup with uh, just rune words and all that. Phoenix, uh, really convenient for a Nova sort. Of course, you make a lot of sacrifices using this. Uh, for example, you don't get the potential 35 FCR you'd get from Spirit Shield, uh, the two to skills, and even some defense that you get from that, because this is quite poor for defense, uh, other than the fact that you do get the uh, plus 10 to max fire and plus 5 to max line, which are very, very desirable and helpful attributes. But the problem is, uh, if you're in the position that I'm in right now, I mean, I don't have Torch or Annie or Res GCs for that matter or anything like that. Or small charm. I have, I have a bunch of red small charms, but... You know, you don't benefit off that, obviously, if you're not capped out. So, completely goes to waste in this situation. Uh, but if you do have, I don't know, maybe you have a Chains of Honor or something. Or uh, you, you just have, you have Maras, Chains of Honor, all sorts of res gear and shit. Uh, Tri-res boots or something. And just make up for it in charms in your inventory. You can actually do quite well. All right, so keep that in mind, dog. But yeah, the the redemption is very nice with this. Pretty much why I use it because Nova sucks a lot of sucks a lot of mana. At level only twenty eight. Oh, it's kind of embarrassing, but whatever. I'll show you how well it does at twenty eight. Tracks just because that's what I had. I needed the ring for to hit the one hundred five breakpoint. <clears throat> Talba, I'm just going three piece towels. And I only have one uh, charm. All right. Oh yeah, and I was gonna make this oath. Hell yeah, I just love making me some rune words. Uh, uh 235. <laughs> Shitty. Uh, pretty cool, though. I don't know if I'll try on a barbarian or something. But alright, now let me show you Toads uh, what I did for the skills. Oops, make that go bye-bye again for just a minute. I got the, uh, got the warmth. I started putting my access points into that. Of course, kind of wanted, wanted to teleport one in energy, just to help up a little bit. You max Light and Mastery. You max Nova, you max Static because it's a synergy for Nova, and it's actually very nice to have Static. Uh, crazy Radius now when you max that shit. And then just because you max T-Storm. Now, there could be a hybrid build potentially. You know, you don't put any in a T-Storm or just one. You max Frozen Orb to help kill uh, some immunes. But I'm not going that route today. I just love these hotkeys that they gave us where... This stuff is very convenient, all right? You got Nova, Static Field, Telekinesis. Uh, just that you can hotkey, these are quick cast skills. Uh, it's very, very nice. It's absolute toad. Uh, you just go to the gameplay right here, quick cast skills, you check that. And of course you can still have by default your uh, other skills on left and right click, but then they just stay there, all right? Because you quick cast and it quickly switches back. You see that? It must be a weird workaround that they had to do why they couldn't just simply give us like a, a skill belt or something like in World of Warcraft or Diablo 3 for that matter. Uh, because it does still seem to function the same way, only it's like you have macros on and it's probably a fully optimized macro. Something you might not be able to achieve uh, with just a keyboard, uh, just a basic keyboard setup. I don't know. I don't know if the delays would factor in and screw things up. I feel like it probably would. So I, I never really tried macros with D2. I don't know if they were even allowed, but but yeah, the quick cast thing is very nice. Hell yeah. So I have a couple of pre-casts right there. Let's see if Nova's on a different cast rate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Yeah, it is. See, Nova's on the 105 cast rate. It, it, it takes advantage of it. It's on your regular skill cast rate. So 105 is a great break point. Uh, I was quite sure it was, but I just wanted to completely verify. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Best freaking boots in the game. Oh my god. First enemy I kill. Hell yeah. <clears throat> but what's so telling about... It's defensive, see? With these quick casts. But look at what uh, Phoenix does. Just suckles all that mana in life. It's, uh... Yeah, you feel powerful, man. <clears throat> and I like having... Of course, now that I took off shock, I screw everything up. I mean, this... You gotta balance these two out. The mana and the life. Uh, I don't know if they're... You might want to try some block, but... 
I like having around six or seven hundred mana. You know, and I had the shotgun. I forgot I was gonna use. Uh... Oh God! Oh shit! Dumb toad. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to. I'm gonna redo that. Hell yeah! I'm gonna come back with some freaking vengeance. I'm gonna. I'm gonna beat some ass right here. All right. So with a build like this, uh, you might want to experiment with Shaco. And it's just much more defensive. Freaking Shaco. And got a lot more life and all that. But the problem is you got to get to that 105 breakpoint. Uh, which can be kind of difficult. Uh, with, with Shaco. You take this off. I mean, you're going to... Hoto will help, and it's going to be difficult to still use Phoenix, but it's possible. Yeah, but, yeah, Shaka was really helpful for defense. Because the thing is, with Nova, you're quite vulnerable. Uh, obviously, you have to teleport up in today's ass, up in today's grill. So there's that you got to factor in, but... It can be pretty fast, and if you don't... If you don't screw around like I did in front of uh, Pindle... The survivability uh, can be acceptable, and you you some you have to wait for a moment for your uh, redemption to kick in. See this? Just wait for a moment. Ooh, hell yeah! I remember in our um, video, Sweet Phil found a pretty epic uh, rare claw. Wasn't quite there for godly AF, but I mean it had some of the right attributes. <clears throat> Always important to pick those things up. If you're looking for a nice collector's item or potentially a usable item, seeing how apparently now Blade Sins are... They're trying to bring them back, right? Aren't they trying to bring them back? Or at least they were never really a thing, but... Trying to make them a little better? I don't really know what they did. I haven't really experimented much with the Assassin and PTR. I remember in... Path of Diablo, your blade shield would actually auto attack and auto shoot a blade like every uh, second or half second at an enemy nearby and it would hit every time. It was crazy. Uh, maybe a bit overpowered. But yeah, this Nova Sorceress, I mean, this is only a level 28 Nova. Alright? <clears throat> so if you get that shit up to, I don't know, 35, 40, 45. And you still have adequate defense. I think... Uh, I mean, I always love the Lightning Sorceress. And that's the thing. With this PTR, they're making the Nova Sorceress kind of viable. Because they're giving Nova a synergy. Which, to my understanding, it didn't have a synergy. As fucked up as that is. Uh, it was just kind of a skill if you normally wouldn't use at all. But some would use it just to level. Oh, hell yeah. What the fuck? I think I found uh, two of these in my magic competition I, I did the other day. Now here's a third one. Godly item. But, I mean, it's tempting for me to want to make a Nova Sorceress with the ladder reset. Even though starting out as lightning can be difficult. Although in Abaddon... I believe there are uh, no general light immunes in Abaddon, the place in the Frigid Highlands. And it's a level 85 area now. Uh, the density isn't all that great, and it's actually quite difficult. You have enemies that can really waste your ass quite easily. So there's that to factor in, but it's something I want to try. So I'm going to write this shit down. I think in my next video... I'm going to try this character in a place like Abaddon, and I'm not going to have Infinity. Uh, one fun thing with the Sorceress when you're Lightning is you can use Insight, but of course you're very limited where you can farm. And you're not piercing the shit out of their Lightning Res either. So it's still doable, but you often want to make up for that uh, by using something like Griffins, which unfortunately can be quite expensive. However... If you get a Vex rune, an Ohm rune, kind of early on the ladder, if there's a shitty Griffins, you might get lucky and get it for something like that. So really, one high rune 
often in, in the old way anyway, which I'm pretty sure is going to be quite similar today or in the upcoming ladder reset. Could often get you a Griffin's Eye with uh, pretty poor stats, low stats, low Griffins. It helps tremendously, uh, but it's not very defensive. So it's something else you have to balance. And yeah, there's something like Crescent Moon. That's something I've never tried before, all right? But I know it can be great for Lightning Sorcerers, especially a budget build. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use Insight and Crescent Moon. Maybe a couple other things, a couple other cheap items to try it on this character. See how well she can run something like Abaddon. I'm going to have my uh, skills are probably going to be even lower. I'm not going to have the three from Aki. I'm going to be wearing Crescent Moon. doesn't give shit for skills. It uh, doesn't give cast rate either. So, yeah, I'm going to tinker around with gear and uh, see how well she can do it. So stay tuned for that. I'm kind of curious to see how she does. Because that could potentially be a ladder starter. Of course, what you generally would do in a ladder start. Now, Ice Boy doesn't often take uh, the traditional route, okay? I often don't. I often take the path less traveled, if you will. Uh, because the traditional route has something to do with just starting off as a sorceress, which I rarely ever do. And uh, just going Blizzard, or you know, something like that. So you can just farm a Feast of Light Cray Cray. You can farm uh, Andario Light Cray Cray. Of course, there's Hydra now, which... Uh, might be a decent alternative, and it's something I might want to try. I think I would more enjoy Hydra over Blizzard. I just never liked Blizzard. I was annoyed by how one hit every fucking enemy and kind of miss and all that. And uh, I just found it kind of boring. So, and it's really what everyone does. So I didn't, I didn't really, I, I haven't really uh, indulged much in the Blizzard sorcerers like ever. I mean, I've had them. <laughs> I had probably a decent one once or twice, but. Yeah, I think Hydra will be fun, but here's how she does the boss now. You static him. Got these nice hotkeys. So it can waste Diablo pretty damn fast. And that's something I uh, really underutilize in this video, is static. Uh, I mean, it's players one. I can kill him pretty quick, but at a higher player level, static would be very helpful. And I would use it in bail runs. Did very well in battle runs, in fact. Hell yeah. Um, here, you're probably better off just teleporting to battle. Because you're gonna... You might get your ass kicked. Uh, especially if you only have a 62 light res or sorcerers, low H, super low HP, glass cannon build, kind of. You're gonna get your ass kicked by uh, the souls, especially. But I did find static. Oh, hell yeah. And I wish they would have, uh, like, a unique Archon play. Um, it's too bad. Uh, like, I was kind of expecting them to implement maybe a few new uniques. Uh, they made the new Rune Words, which is strange, because it's a common argument in the Diablo community that Rune Words just took over everything from, like, 1.09 and beyond. So it would have been a great opportunity for them to make, uh, you know, a unique or two that maybe was uh, competitive. With something like Enigma or Chains of Honor or Fortitude, when it comes to armors at least. And uh, an Archon Plate would have been a great opportunity for that. And uh, you could argue, well, it would be too easy to get. Archon Plates have a pretty common drop rate. But you could make it super rare. You know, they could still they could still, they could still, still type those numbers in and shit. And make that shit uh, super rare. Like Tyrael's might. Make that uh, unique Archon Plate an Ultra Hog. Hell yeah. So like two to all skills, even three to all skills armor, maybe FCR, two to all skills, just some crazy shit. To help uh, bring uniques back, I mean, really, totally, I think, uh, maybe the whole slamming of items would have been a good idea. Like uh, how you can in PoE and all that. But anyway, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to show you how this woman can run Bell, because apparently that's our in-game content, it's Diablo and Bell right now. Uh, which I normally run anyway, even in the mods that offer in-game content and game maps and all that. But I think uh, many of you would probably agree. I was kind of hoping for, you know, some potential in-game content added. And it doesn't seem like we're getting that, so I don't really know. If, uh, if the more general consensus and just the Diablo 2 fanbase... Is it yes, we want some in-game content added, or is it no, don't change shit? Holy toad. Gladiator Spain. Hell yeah. Speaking of endgame content, this would especially be more 
uh, up to par with uh, potential endgame merc items if we could slam shit. Yeah, yeah. But some of you might not like that idea, I don't know. Corrupting items, slamming items. Uh, that is one way to bring them up in the competition with uh, rune words. So, uh, really, you know, you could be one who loves classic, loves 1.09, loves when uniques were, were special. That, so you could consider yourself a hardcore fan in that case. Uh, but if that's your argument, really, it does help bring uniques uh, to potential top tier items if we can slam that shit. Uh, and, and, of course, assuming we cannot slam uh, rune words. Block. In trouble now. Out of gold. I uh, can't raise the mark, so I'm going to fetch some gold real quick. Check this out. It's quite a sin to commit. To get gold, I'm going to sell... Hell yeah. 35,000. <laughs> going to sell those runes uh, yeah, on the PTR. Obviously, we can just delete the mule and uh, exit the game, rejoin... Uh, launch the game again, and he'll be made again with all the runes. <clears throat> Alright, so... Static. Watch this. Keep your merc somewhat in the radius of the enemies. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Absolute toad. Um, really helpful with these guys. Really what you're gonna need this shit for. Look at that. Hell yeah. Way stays ass. So in higher uh, player count games, you're going to want to use that. But yeah. <clears throat> Another thing is, man, where the hell is the loot filter? This is bullshit. Uh, like, if they, if their excuse is, oh, we don't want to change much, or whatever, give us a fucking loot filter. You know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, whoever doesn't... Look, we, we need a fucking loot filter. So give me a hell yeah in the comments below if you're with Ice Dog on that. Ooh, another godly item. Another godly item. Here we go. Sell some of these goodies. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think about this weapon. What improvements could little Ice Toad make on it? But stay tuned. I uh, I would like to try a uh, running. Uh, Abaddon and just other areas just to see uh, can I start with a lightning weapon for the ladder reset because Their potential is great. I mean, but this requires of course Phoenix and infinity. It's cray cray expensive as fuck So I just don't really feel like I'm gonna get there uh, In which case uh, what I'll probably do is make a necromancer. But how the hell am I gonna get enigma? Uh, would one of you let me know if one of you guys will just let me borrow that fucking thing if we run the ladder I know I don't I normally don't like handouts. I just want to borrow that fucking thing because uh, I might do a magic competition or two coming up And I like where the fucking enigma if I do that. So hey, yeah find that enigma let, let little ice boy use that shit uh, For you know a couple days or something And I'll hook you back up dog Become a patron if you want links in the description below for those of you who support the ice boy May our finances be blessed. May your youth be renewed like that of the eagle. And may you have many wives. Peace with you.